wie e wutu hodo mo enko piamu Ghana ye mra she be dwafie mu na oso afo no na hwe ye nsase ene nima hodo oba de e de adom ye so yewra e Samuel Abu Jinapo ene ko piamu e wo Ghana ye mra she be dwafie mu ne nsem etiawa ne nyan e sese ne aya aka aka ye se ye se aban eko dwiri ba bia wo besi cathedral no na wo dwidwin krofobia da ne o majapade wo sank wo tua patasika bi de mom no tua sam patasika no emfa mai enra ye rei e yisafo ni nyana no kye se obi o begina ba bia ka se aban ase ne japade ne oboa ene mo mo se ni nyana e ye aban atena ya hodo ne nso kra no mo nyana wo mapa ba bi e de amom atena in the speaker the land on which the national cathedral is being built occupants on that land were public institutions and by that I refer to the passport office, the regional police commander's residence, the scholarship secretariat, the judiciary had properties on that land. All of these institutions have been relocated. There were two private entities on that land. And that is the distinction that I was trying to draw. The two private institutions were Comsys Ghana Limited and Waterstone Reality Limited. The speaker, Comsens was given another government property in the same vicinity. Comsens has been dealt with and settled when it comes to the issues of their land on which the cathedral is being built. The speaker, Waterstone Reality Limited, which is a company that the Honorable Okujito Ablakwa refers to, was given a property at Ridge. However, there were issues of national security which resulted in the company not being able to take over the said property at Roman Ridge. The speaker, as I speak to you now, the Lands Commission is fully engaged with Waterstone Reality Limited in that, with, with the view of giving them alternative land arrangement so that the matters in issue will be, will be resolved.